Hey everyone out here and welcome back to Brand New Things for Spirit Radio on the channel and today, today we are doing something that I, I don't think I did it in the past, maybe I did, but I don't really recall. Um, I'm gonna build a base game only with one pack only with it, okay? Like combination of base game in one pack. Now you chose that I'm gonna do it with the base game and the Desert uh, Lux kit, the brand new kit that they just uh, released at the beginning of the week, I believe it was, it was released or something like that. And I asked you on a survey on, on the channel at the beginning of the week and you buy quite a lot <laughs> compared to the other combination, you chose to do that combination of the, the, the base game and the um, Desert Lux. So here we are and I'm not gonna build a house. Because you already know me, and I'm not building houses usually. Usually I don't build houses, but if you don't know me, my name is Architect, I'm building in The Sims, basically anything other than houses. Uh, once in a while I do build houses, but I build the most uh, weird or the things that we really want to see, like uh, gyms and uh, malls and um, shops, a lot of shops, from like bridal shop and uh, groom's shop and... and, and uh, gas station stuff like that. So welcome to the channel if you are new here And that's what you can expect if you're gonna subscribe to the channel. But anyway I decided I'm gonna take that brand new kit with the base game only So that's the only things that you need in order to to load this uh, build to your game uh, I'm gonna build a bar with it because so many other creators out there already creating houses and I said it will be great to have a bar that you can actually place in the world with all the other houses made by other creators and it will feel or be at least at the same vibe and the theme of this build is Adobe or clay building. Now if you have no idea what's Adobe, Adobe is basically some sort of a mud. It's, it's a really old way to build stuff. Um, one of the benefits of building with uh, like in Adobe style is to uh, save the heat and the cold. It's kind of great in, in doing those things and it's a rain uh, um, safe. Like rain cannot go through that Adobe building. Anyway, so <laughs> if you have no idea what's Adobe. And the whole idea is it, it looks like a house or, or a building out of clay or literally mud. That's, that's the idea, you can see it right now. And I decided to do a bar with it and um, I'm gonna use quite a lot the brand new kit. The whole idea was to use the kit and you can see it already taking uh, shape in this build. I'm using a lot of those uh, shades uh, or, or, or shaded area, I don't know how to describe that, that um, those strips, that those wooden strips over there hanging around. Um, I call them shades. Uh, so I'm using those a lot. I'm gonna use actually those uh, knobs, those uh, wooden knobs you can see sticking around from the sides of the building. They're basically from, well, they're originally from the base game. So uh, they kind of working great in those type of builds. So I'm gonna use them quite a lot. And uh, in general, I wanted to, to create some sort of uh, Adobe bar and I don't think I, I saw someone creating something like that. Do let me know what do you think about this build, how do you think it will uh, um, turn out, well, of course we need to, to check it for uh, <laughs> for the rest of the video to, to, to know exactly what's gonna happen inside and uh, quite a lot of items in that brand new kit kind of fitting to creating a bar, that's why I went with the idea of creating a bar. We are literally received bar inside of this kit. So I said it will be great to try out and see if it's possible to create an Adobe style bar using that brand new bar and uh, and yeah. Now in a bit we're gonna get inside of this build uh, and inside I'm gonna use the bar that we received with the, the kit quite a lot. Now unfortunately in bars uh, build you can only use it well, it's not that you can only use it, but you can place one bar and only one bartender will will, will, attend, will attend that bar. bar. So, so I actually used, I don't know, like four or five different bars inside, but only one will be 
uh, um, used with uh, like by by the game bartenders. So it's quite weird. I I don't really know why it's not working. Like all the bars are not being filled with other bartenders. Um, but I. One of the things that I missed in this kit, I gotta tell you, was uh, a kitchen counter. I really wanted to have a kitchen counter that will fit to the, the bar that they uh, share with, like they brought to us with this kit, but they didn't really bring any kitchen counters, so it kind of... I had to use a lot of bars just to, to create long stretch of bar, you know, you know what I mean? You're gonna see that in a bit. And right now I'm doing the, the lighting in this build, and I gotta tell you that spotlight on the ground, wow, I'm, I'm like, I'm in love with that um, spotlight on the ground. I used it a lot in other builds that I'm working on right now, it's it's one of the best spotlight. I really wish that we, they will bring us like um, dangling, not dangling, but hanging from the ceiling spotlight, something with um, like dropping from the ceiling and uh, I really wish that they will bring that to us one day and right now you can see that I'm creating more like a lounge area uh, uh, a bit more cozy with the brand new uh, fire, fire pit? Not fire pit, that's um, hearth, right? How do you call that? Got the name of it, <laughs> but it's it's more like a lounge area, and over here we placing some of the tables, and uh, you could see that over there that I wasn't quite sure what type of table to use, so I placed some of them together, place uh, uh, around them some of the um, some of the uh, uh, chairs, and I just went with my gut. You know, uh, I like the best the one with that uh, strip of, of cloth or something like that, that that on it, and I just placed this one and, and placed it all around, and, and that that's the one I picked. It, it's something that I do sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I'm not quite sure what will be the best. I was looking for something that will fit the best to the the, the Adobe design, and because it's it's already brown-ish, uh, I decided to go with even darker brown. Um, so I took that uh, wooden tables. Anyway, this is basically how I, I, I decided to go with uh, with this build. I really do, do hope that you're gonna enjoy in a bit. We're gonna go inside right now. You can see me creating some sort of a pot uh, with the brand new, I think those are like end tables, rounded end tables. And uh, the moment I saw them, I know I knew that I can create some sort of a custom made pots with them. And I was glad that in the, uh, I was happy actually, um, to, to find in the base game, the pile of dirt. If, you, if you're actually searching in the search bar and you have the debug items uh, open, if you search the word dirt, you're gonna find that pile of dirt and you can create your own custom-made uh, uh, po po pots, pot potteries? Pots, let's call it pots. <laughs> I actually, it's not the first time I'm doing something like this. I created, do you remember, I one of the kits, I don't remember which kit, they brought to us some sort of a banana tree inside of a pot and many people really want that. Um, without buying the kit. So we had a empty pot in the game and I used that empty pot with the pile of, of dirt and the banana tree that we have from, I think, Jungle Adventure, you have the banana tree and I placed it inside. Basically, I created the custom-made pot with the banana tree that looks almost exactly like the one from the kit. I don't remember if I shared it at the gallery, but I shared it on Twitter so people knew how to do it. So that's basically how I made all those uh, custom-made pots over here, and uh, and yeah. So I really do hope that you're gonna enjoy this build. Do let me know what do you think about it in the uh, comment section down below. Let me know what other type of, of builds that you want me to create base game with another kit, uh, and maybe it will happen. Now, if you if you don't recognize this place, this is a 30 by 20 in Oasis Spring, and um, originally I think the last build I made in this place was the 70s gas station. So you're gonna have to take it down if you want to place this build inside of, of, of like instead of that lot. And it's basically the build or the lot on the other side of the road from the gym, the Oasis Spring Gym, which by the way, I also re-renovated or recreated. You're more than welcome to go and check it on my uh, gallery also. And yeah, so I really do hope that you're gonna enjoy it. Now, one thing, one big thing that I want to cover with you before we gonna finish this build is the 18th in October, people. This is 
the most buzzing thing right now on on Twitter regarding, of course, the Sims community, not the whole world, but <laughs> the Sims community. The 18th in October, there gonna be a summit, a Sims summit. People are already speculating what's gonna be, what's gonna happen, what they're gonna announce. We already know that in the 18th in October, the Sims 4 base game will become free to play for all. And I think it's about time, let's face it, people, the Sims is like in... it's gonna be like nine? It's nine anniversary, I believe? Nine year anniversary? It was, um, it was first released in the 2000, like in 2014, I believe, right? And since then, the graphic of the game, the mechanism of the game, nothing really changed. We received a lot of game packs and expansions, which some of them are amazing and some of them are less great than others. Um, but, uh, but yeah, many people are speculating that there is a good chance that... Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I just received a text. Nothing that you need to worry about. <laughs> Where was I? Okay, so many people are actually speculating that uh, The Sims 5 will be announced in this uh, in this summit. And the, the, the coin, just like a normal coin, has two sides. One side is really don't want to see Sims 5 being announced or being out yet. The other side is, is the opposite side. People really want to see Sims 5 being announced. Now... I don't know if it's gonna cheer you up, people, but this is the way of life. Many people are just not ready to get Sims 5, some of them just bought many expansions and invested a lot of money in their expansions, but I want to remind you, people, that the same thing happened with Sims 3. Sims 3 had billions of expansions and, and game packs. Like, if you're asking me, I still think that Sims 3 is better than Sims 4. Okay, I, I said it, I'm not taking a bet, a bet, bet. I'm not taking it back. Sims 3 was better than Sims 4. Uh, it was uh, better in the gameplay. Like, I never really had lags. People complain about lags in Sims 3. I never had one because my computer was good enough to, to, uh, to load an open world. Um, but, you know, many people are afraid that they, 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 they not ready for Sims 5, but that's the way of life. Sims 5 will come soon. To, to, uh, to the world, because there are so many other games right now trying to compete with The Sims, Paralives, uh, Viva Land, um, some others that I don't remember the name right now. The game, like, like the game industry of open world simulation life uh, uh, is evolving, changing. If The Sims want to be number one, it's, right now it's number one, but if he, he wants to keep being number one, he needs to evolve. This game is still graphic from 2014, um, mechanism from two, 2014, uh, so it needs to evolve. Now, I really want to see Sims 5 being announced. I think it should have been announced like two, day, two days, two days ago. <laughs> Two years ago, I think, if you think about it, Sims 3 was out in 2009, Sims 4 was out in 2014. Only five years after Sims 3 was announced, not announced, was out, Sims 4 was announced. So, just like the thing that happened back then, with Sims 3 players buying all the expansions and, and being a bit, a bit grunchy by the idea of Sims 4 being out, Sims 4 came. So the same thing will happen with Sims 5, that's something that happens with successful titles, like it or not. Now, uh, th that's one of the main speculation. I don't think that the other speculations, I, I heard some others or read some of them, I don't think they will be the thing. Some people say that it's going to be uh, microtransactions being announced. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but I really want to hear from you, from you, what do you want to see in that Sims 4 Summit and what do you think? actually is gonna happen. So leave a comment with your thoughts in, at the description down at the description at the comment section down below. And we are getting closer to this to the end of this video and I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more builds just like this and even better. And I gotta tell you, I'm working on a very special build that will be out soon. It's a big one. And the tour is about to start. So until the next time, keep that Sims party going for me. RG out.